What is happening? Welcome. Welcome to everybody here. This is part one of my five part series on let's shed some belly fat and get summer ready. All right. Coming to you from the homestead. Uh, the gym is uh, shut down. Still, we are, everybody's got their fingers crossed that we'll get rolling again. But this is part one of my series on let's shed some body fat and get summer ready. Now, uh, I spend a ton of time talking about the how, all right? I'm an MVP, I'm in the gym, I'm doing all this stuff, right? I talk about the how all the time. This series is gonna be a little bit different. This series is gonna be more about uh, the what and the why, okay? And it's gonna have a, it's gonna go all week long, It'll be 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. So, hey, if you jump on live, uh, tell me where you're coming from, maybe even drop a one and uh, what part of the world or state or city or where you're coming from. Uh, if you're watching the replay, drop a two or maybe just hashtag replay. Uh, and if you're a first timer, never watched one of my lives before or connected with me, drop a three down below. I would love uh, to connect with you. I'm just going to give this a couple of seconds uh, to run. And um, I see some folks jumping on. How you guys doing? Once again, tell me where you're coming from. Did you get your workout in this morning? Uh, it's going to happen, okay? So uh, when you do come on and you're watching this, whether it's now or on the replay, uh, I, I put out a, a post the other day uh, just asking folks, hey, if I put a free training on you know, how to shed some body fat and uh, get summer ready, would you be interested? And bing, 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 of course, right? People, people are always interested in uh, maybe losing a little bit of weight, shed some body fat. And like I mentioned, uh, I talk all the time about the how. So you can go back and watch some of that stuff. Jump over to my MVP page. But this is more about the what and the why, okay? So, so if you aspire to lose weight, shed some body fat, drop that in the comments. Maybe a thumbs up, maybe a sunshine, maybe a bikini because you're looking forward to the summer. Now, the Northwest where we live, it's one day it's sunshine and then today it's rainy and overcast. All right, so it's ever changing, but summer is coming, okay? And we all wanna be ready, all right? So, but drop it in the comments. If you aspire, you're thinking, this is the year I wanna get in shape, I wanna do this, Drop that in the comments or even shoot me a message, all right, if you're not the whole comment person, all right? And always, if you value what I got going on, give me a thumbs up, drop some hearts, and share this uh, share this live, okay? And then tag your bestie. If you haven't done that yet, go ahead and ta tag your bestie and let them know what's going on, okay? So uh, this series, like I mentioned, is going to talk about the what and the why. Okay. Now I had this uh, conversation at dinner the other night and one of the girls said, uh, she kept like cutting the fat off, uh, the meat that we were eating. Right. And, uh, what's up, what's up? Everybody saw, oh, we got a whole crew on here. This is fantastic. All right. So it was cutting the fat off of the meat. And she said, well, I don't want to get fat. And I was like, what? So, but that's a huge misconception, right? The people associate the fat that we eat with the fat that maybe we're storing uh, on the body. And I had this long conversation uh, about that. That is not true, kiddo, all right? The fat you eat, well, we can talk about uh, caloric surplus uh, in another conversation, but the fat we eat is not just gonna go right to uh, the body. Sarah, what is happening? Thanks for tagging, folks. Got your bestie on there. Love it, love it. All right, so that's my point number one. All right, fat is not gonna make you fat, okay? We can talk about some other stuff later. But, okay, so imagine this too, all right? So you gotta work with me on this one. Imagine you had x-ray vision, okay? And you were able to look into the body. All right, look through past the skin. I know, I know, you're just gonna have to humor with me for a second, right? And you look through into the body and you're able to see the different fat stores in the body. And here's a big one. There's two kinds of fat, all right? Two main kinds of fat that we're gonna talk about today. One is the subcutaneous fat, the fat that's just right under your skin. Like you can pinch, you know, you, you, you pinch, can you pinch an inch, right? So that's the subcutaneous fat, 
Okay. Now we can talk about like, how does that happen? You know, sedentary lifestyle, poor diet and all this stuff. Right. But the, Hey, what's happening? Ashley's on Marty's on. I love it. Tina, what's happening? You know, once again, hey, if you come on live right now, drop a one. Tell me where you're coming from. What'd your workout look like today? If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. And if you're a first timer, drop a three down below. I'd love to connect with you, right? So just been talking about number one, fat is not going to make you fat. The fat you eat is not going to make you fat. All right. The second thing we're talking about is different kinds of fat. The subcutaneous fat that's just right under the skin. Now, I got x-ray vision, right? I'm looking through the body, okay? And then there's another kind of fat that's visceral fat that is stored particularly in the belly region and over time it accumulates around the organs. So imagine you're you're got your x-ray vision, right? And you can see all the body systems working together. Okay, you see the digestive system working, you see the blood pumping through the body, all right? You, when you eat, you can see it go, going through, right? The heart's pumping, the lungs are going, right? Hey, awesome, thanks, Bob. Uh, you know, so you, you can see all that. Now imagine, imagine over time, you, you, you're, you, follow, you don't follow quite, a, you don't exercise a lot, you, maybe you got poor nutrition, right? And you're, you're not doing the right things, and then there's just accumulation, right? I posted this picture the other day, check this out. Look at this thing. This is a replica of what five pounds, what five pounds of fat is, okay? I got all kinds of comments about uh, oh my gosh, this is only five pounds. You know, if I was five, 10, 15, 20 plus pounds overweight storing. Now let's go back to that, my visceral fat example, right? So I look in the body and I see the body systems all working and the body is the most amazing uh, machine system that was ever put together, right? It is absolutely amazing. So uh, imagine you have all this visceral fat that's stored in the belly, right? And it's choking the body systems, right? Choking the body systems. The, the lungs can't work the way they, they want. The, the blood can't pump the way they want. The heart's cranking like overdrive, trying to like pump, 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 right? And if over time, this is my, my third piece, over time, the snowball effect, right? Like we didn't get overweight overnight. We didn't add body fat overnight. Most folks uh, that maybe were super active as uh, as a child, whether you're an athlete or worked on a farm or, or whatnot, right? And now we live in more of a, following more of a sedentary lifestyle where this accumulation, right? It just builds and builds and builds. And then what happens? That's when the bad things happen. And a lot of times it affects your hormone levels, all right, it affects your energy levels. Okay, so going back, looking at those three pieces. Number one, fat is not fat, and it ain't gonna make you fat unless you consume too much of it, right? And then the two different kinds of fat, you know, can you pinch an inch the subcutaneous fat? Or the bad part is why people can't lose weight is because they have too much visceral fat that's deep in their belly and it's choking the life out of the systems uh, that they have, right? Now, can you imagine this, right? Uh, I was talking with one of my buddies the other day. He's like, yeah, but look at me. Like my, my abs are like, he's got a big round belly, right? And there's no subcutaneous fat. Like he is like rock hard. You ever you like punch uh, pops in the belly and it's like, dang, that thing's like rock solid. But what's happening deep down inside, that's where the unhealthy fat starts to build and build and build and build, right? So uh, I want to make sure, uh, I mentioned earlier that I'm going to do another one of these, okay, tomorrow, 10 a.m. I'm going to do one each, uh, each day this week. And the biggest focus, and I want to put, put some things into your, into your head, okay? I want to put things into your head so that, like me, I, I, I find a topic and then all of a sudden, like, I run with it and I want to learn more and I want to learn more. Uh, so we're talking about shedding body fat and getting summer ready, particularly belly fat. And I'm gonna highlight this week all the things that you can do, shed that visceral fat, flush the system, and get ready for summer. Because this quarantine's gonna end soon, and it's gonna be a great summer. So, hey, number one, did any of that jump out at you? All right, have you ever heard of visceral fat? 
Drop that in the comments. Maybe, maybe not. All right, now once again, I, I talk all the time about the how, all right? This is more about the what and the why, okay? So check back tomorrow, 10 a.m., all right? Don't forget to tag your bestie, all right? We're gonna talk about the why, all right? Talk soon.